Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. I am the Appleton Oak. We are going to be checking out Stranger Things Season 4, Chapter 6, The Dive. Now, the first five episodes have been awesome. Absolutely incredible. Awesome. Not just from an action standpoint, from a cliffhanger standpoint, but also, <laughs> I got my thinking cap on, but also from a writing standpoint, oh. just really really have been enjoying the depth of the plot and everything that the writers and creators of this show have been doing. I can't wait for chapter six. Uh, echoing everything the Oak just said, writing's been fantastic. Season four has been off the hook. And with that said, let's go! They're coming. Oh no, they're going to the lake. Oh Patrick. no. Yeah, he got, he got mangled. Oh shit, dude. Somebody would have had to um somebody would have had to pull him out of the water. Oh no. He's real messed up. Oh god. Uh, oh man. Oh. Oh no. He was in the in the boat, like I said. Who lifted Patrick out the water? Why aren't you listening to me? Jason, we are listening to you. No, you're not. Eddie is a vessel. He's made a pact with the devil. Now he has his powers. See, and you and I were kind of... I was going to say, he that thinks... That was one of the scenarios you and I were playing out. He <clears> thinks <throat> Eddie is... He still thinks Eddie's responsible. How do you expect to stop the devil if you don't believe he's real? Why are we going underwater? Look at that fish. Oh! That almost got me. Oh, God. That, that almost got me. You know, I think it didn't get me because it was just too dark. And we're watching on a computer monitor, but the, the way that fish went, brah. Oh, my God. almost got me. Gosh. Is this the uh, security guard? Oh, this is the security guard from the house that lived. They're trying to figure out where Eleven is. I can make the pain in. Where's the girl? I don't know. There are two proposed explanations for what is happening. An invisible boogeyman from another dimension is slaughtering these kids. That is the actual explanation. His little pet has gone rogue again, and he and his lackeys are now seeking to cover it up. Perhaps in hopes of selling their pet to the Soviets. <laughs> Dude's been shot, beat the shit out of. The hell was that? Just a metal cage. I don't know what's what's with that. You know what happens when someone has a stroke? The blood supply to the brain is cut off. It scrambles the signals in the brain to the point where the mind can forget how to do things. When you were attacked last year, I believe that your signals were scrambled in much the same way. I believe you too can return to your full power. Your abilities are still in here. It's important for you to not just see your past, but to fully re-experience it, repair your broken signals. Gosh, it's still just hard for me to come to terms that it's okay that these two are back together right now. But I know she's doing it for a purpose. That's what she feels, but is that how they feel, you know? Right. Is it just an opportunity for them to further their studies on her? You know what I'm saying? It's like a trade-off, basically. Yeah, they're telling her, oh, you can save the world, it's, but they really just want to study on her. So much blood. You have demons in your past. That is why we must proceed carefully. And if you were lost, so are we all. All right, so this is very much coming down to 11 versus Vecna. It's seeming that way, yeah. So now she's in a separate sensory deprivation chamber, but still seeing old video footage of herself. Eddie. Now, how is this going to work? Switch the walkie-talkie to a different channel. Try to use his to connect to everybody else. I guess they had a regular walkie-talkie. I thought they had something a little bit more specific to each one. Uh, good news first this time. We got you some dust and approved junk food. Oh, yeah, and we found Vecna. Positive spin can make all the difference. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Uh, drop a comment below if you remember sitting in the way back of a station wagon when you were a kid. <laughs> Not the back. 
the way, way back. back. Seats facing backward or jump seats? Let us know. Do you see that? They actually had the side seats in the back there. The jump seats. Yeah, all right. That's what it was. My, We used to go to swimming lessons in a station wagon with the jump seats. Uh, it was there that we found the victim, 18-year-old senior from Hawkins High, Patrick McKinney. Oh, Lucas. This is the first he's hearing about it. Eddie Munson. This is not, it's not public. This is really not for Eddie, that why, is. Why would, they, uh, why would they say that it's Eddie, though, if Eddie was clearly in the boat? Dusty, can you hear me? Eddie, holy shit, are you okay? I'm pretty goddamn far from okay. Where is he? That's uh, Ving Rhames says the exact same line in uh, Pulp Fiction, except with an F-bomb. Pretty far from okay. <laughs> is Susie here? <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot, dude. It's a hell of a shot right between the eyes. Can you not see that we are filming? Right, stand Just give it to him, man. Stand. How many times do I have to tell you? That is not a toy. Nobody uh, seems to be bothered by the fact that just four strangers walked in the house. Yeah. Who the hell are you? Argyle. You are? He's in love he already. Didn't. Mm -hmm. like the is this a big foster home is what this seems like to me who the heck are you and what are you doing in my room sorry that's that's fair we're dustin's friend we really need your help well, that was interesting okay so here's the uh the crash plane we were talking about earlier fuselage does not seem like it's in overly bad shape for a crash so there's that dude i'm still baffled by that house we were just showing i think it's a foster home yeah, it has to be. I mean, 87 kids running around, running the house. We are truly in hell if hell froze over. Two miles north, I saw some smoke. Could be a town, could be a house. Maybe somebody there knows where we can find this prison. The top secret prison. Really? Dipshit! <laughs> it just says, hey, dipshit. Told you, you will help you for a right price. Half. What? What? You heard me, you stubborn bastard. 20,000. 25. We got ourselves a moron. He thought I was serious. I got you good. <laughs> you are not killer. Thing is, we don't need to kill you. We can just leave you here. I saw tracks. Tracks. In the woods, Yuri. Shall we fly out of here, little bird? Uh -huh. Bye -bye, she's, she's, she's trying so she's trying so hard my warehouse is there supplies we will need to reach prison by night four if you hope to save your friend that is if he's not already dead all right let's go yuri's playing some ball here i don't trust don't yuri. trust him you though. can't trust yuri we've already been shown that but he is motivated by greed so if you can play your cards right now i don't trust yuri as far as i can throw him it's not very far <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Are they taking on the mo They got to fight the... Uh, the monster. The, what is it? The Demogorgon from... Uh, yeah, it's the Demogorgon. They like the dog. But you what was your tea? Beating up. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe they get lucky. Why are they going to have a feast? Like last dinner kind of thing? This is definitely their last meal. They're going to feed these guys. And then... Uh, and then they die. You have lost your spirit to live. No, something like that. No. Hopper's hammed up. He didn't even care for the food. He wanted to get hammered. About nine feet tall, thin, white skin, no face, no eyes. Three meter rostum, really? Yes, Lisa. Yeah, starting to register, dude. I fought one, and all your theories about it, they're all wrong. It needs the thrill of the hunt. We're here to entertain it. And this food, so we're full of all the nutrients and protein that a growing monster might need. This is your last meal. Ha <laughs> ha! Plinko! Get in the middle, you get 10 grand. 
drop a comment below if you used to watch The Price is Right with Bob Barker. Come on down. Price is wrong, bitch. bitch. <laughs> Which number are you aiming for? Three. It's helpful to take a step away for a moment. You remind me of someone, someone I used to know really well. Can you guess who that is? One. Papa said that he doesn't exist, I know. What? Is he number one? Maybe we'll save that story for another day. But he was a lot like you. Then out of nowhere, he walked in here and it was like something had changed. He said he had figured it out. He had found his strength in a memory from his past. Something that made him sad, angry. Do you maybe have a memory like that? What role is this dude going to play here in the next? I think he's episode? number. I think he's number one. The woman, she was calling a name to you. <laughs> that was your mother. What? She died making me. And who told you that? Papa doesn't always tell the truth. He's number one. Okay, but Good he could morning, very children. well be planted just to telling her that to make her angry to try to get her powers back. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a plant. Piss her off. We need her powers back. I don't know. Did you see that look that he gave when he walked in? Like it was kind of like what he gave the look of. See, he's doing it again. Kind of like what the, the hell is this? I don't know. I don't know. You do realize that Skull Rock, it's like a super popular makeout spot? Yeah. Where are you going? Stop whining. Let's go. Come on. Trust me. You okay? Uh, yeah. Thinking about Patrick. Get it all out. We don't need Vec Vecna coming after Lucas, dude. For harboring guilt of some sort. Everyone Vecna targets has something in their life. S something that's... Hurting them. Haunting them. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I wasn't there. No. I disappeared. No, no. I just didn't look hard enough. Be careful, you don't start harboring that own guilt yourself or Vecna will be coming after you. Would that be so terrible for me to wish happiness for my friends? The other day in the library, I mentioned Jonathan, you sort of flinched or winced. Jonathan and I are fine. Got it. We're good, right? We're good. It's just... We're good. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> feeling I'm pulling away lately, and, and I don't know if it's because we're 2,000 miles away. And now I can't find out why, because apparently he's blown up his family's house phone or something. If you only knew what they just went through at that house. <laughs> oh, shout out to that special agent, by the way. For your safety, we will be enforcing a strict curfew. <laughs> I understand you all are upset, but I promise you, we will find him. No, you won't. Look, I don't know about the rest of you, but I can't bear to listen to any more excuses and lies. That's enough. I agree, I've had enough. The captain of the basketball team is at town hall making a speech. Oh yeah, you I mean, know, the, the, he's got a. Oh, oh, he's grabbing the mic. Here comes uh -oh. an epic speech, dude. Basketball pregame right here. Last night I saw things, things I can't explain. Nobody's gonna believe him. I don't know, man. These murders are ritualistic sacrifices, and Eddie Munson is the leader of one of these cults. They call themselves Hellfire. That's bullshit! A club, a harmless club. That's what they want you to think. And now this cult is protecting its leader, Eddie. Dude, people are gonna believe him. Yeah, in the 80s, like this devil worship, people believed it was a thing. So I came here today, humbly, to ask for your help. Let us cast out this evil and save Hawkins together. And yeah, everyone's like, Good speech, but nah. What are y'all just sitting around for? You heard the kid? Oh, here we go. He's got a crew. Half the town's going to be on his side. Anyone interfering with this investigation will be arrested. Oh, God. You know, this... Okay, anybody who remembers, like, the 80s, like, rock and roll music was... Like, Kiss, the band Kiss... Just a bunch of dudes from New York rocking out and singing about partying. I dial into this computer and find a location. The Nina Project? Exactly. And the Nina Project is the code name for a video game. Well, no, it's not just a video game. It's a video game console. Susie, it's 16-bit. 16-bit? The first people to find the secret location receive uh, American America Nintendo. Uh, but it's not for us. It it's for Dustin. Susie, I don't know what you're doing, but I am not spending my entire day babysitting. Pull your damn weight. Language. Oh no, am I gonna burn in hell now? Oh, you tell her, Eden. 
college. <laughs> Not only was I breaking the law, I've never seen father so angry. After learning the terrible truth, he confiscated my computer. Oh no. He uses it for work now? I'm really sorry. There might be a way, but we're gonna need help. All right. <laughs> I love this guy. All right. Hate to break it to you, Mrs. Willer, but they lied to you. You're calling the theater? The police. Well, this is gonna get messy, dude. She, now she's gonna call them missing. Somebody, oh, I was gonna say, somebody has to see something happen, but they if they think Eddie's doing it, then it doesn't matter. Do you know what time this was, the attack? Yeah, my walkie wasn't the only thing that got soaked. 927, same time our flashlights went kablooey. Well, one step closer, we know how Vecna attacks. And where he attacks from. So now we just need to sneak into his lair in the upside down and drive a stake through his heart. I was right. Skull Rock was north. This is Skull Rock, 100% wrong. Compass was messed up. This compass worked correctly when we left the wheelers. It was correct when we got in the car on Curly, but it started to slip the further east we went. When I was leading us here, I wasn't wrong. Lucas, do you remember what can affect a compass? An electromagnetic field. In the presence of a stronger electromagnetic field, the needle will deflect towards that power. So either there's some super big magnet around here, or there's a gate. Okay, now it's starting to make a little sense there. Eddie's still a wanted man. We can't just go for a hike in the woods. Uh, you're all wanted now. Yeah. I say you're asking me to follow you into Mordor. <laughs> One does not simply walk into Mordor. <laughs> wow. It's good now that we can pick up all this stuff, isn't it? <laughs> good thing we watched Lord of the Rings. But uh, I would have known Mordor without watching Lord of the Rings <laughs> from the memes. It's clearly, if you've been following this channel, you know. Okay, here's the thing. Even if they take out Vecna, the town is still going to think that Eddie did it. Yeah. Because Jason did a hell of a speech there. I bet you after college, that guy's going to be a motivational speaker. <laughs> Tony Robbins. The last person standing in their circle will get to spend an extra hour of free time in the rainbow room. Well, he won that one pretty handedly. It's like it's Kitty like, Lab Fight Club or yeah. something. I wonder what kind of a challenge she's going to give L then. Good luck. Yeah, Brenner's on to that dude. Come on, L. What if he doesn't even do anything and he just loses? Like his own energy blows him back. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, she stopped it. You maybe have a memory like that. <laughs> oh. Got him. Okay, so does she remember that her name is Jane from when she was a kid? Because she was Jane at school, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. So she must remember that when she was younger, her name was Jane. And so when she left, sorry, I'm just trying to puzzle, put the pe put the pieces of the puzzle together. Not in the church. Not in the church. Like all this? Uh, wait until you see my flame That's a Russian AK. Flame thrower? For show and tell. Oh, she's always this bossy. Keys. Map. Yes. Really, badass Murray. It's not really necessary right there to, to rack the slide there, Murray. <laughs> I get for, for TV. You were planning to turn us over to the warden. Bring you in as prisoners and then set you free inside walls. You're gonna be Murray. And I'm gonna be Yuri. It's a silent role. <laughs> I like this Murray. He is clever, that is for sure. I cannot leave this world with him believing his father is a traitor. Mikhail, your son, is he, is he slow? Is he stupid? He did say yes, Kazal! You're a drunk American. You're the reason why we're in here. You're gonna I'm die gonna today. Eat. Your son is not your son. Uh, he very purposely wanted to piss him off. Well, of course. This is all part of an elaborate plan. There we go. There we go. Oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Gosh, just think, if he wasn't hammered, he probably had that situation down. Maybe he needed to get messed up so he didn't get thrown into the pit with the Demogorgon. Was that worth it? <laughs> Was that worth it? We call it a Demogorgon. Everything I said about it is true, except it has one weakness. 
Fire. Need some fuel. Stole the lighter Stole off the, the light guard. The smokes. That was the key to the fight. Yeah. I think it was worth it. You son of a bitch. I read the broken. Don't make me laugh. Love it. Wow. Oh, However, genius. it can't be coincidence that Yuri said he had a flamethrower. But they don't know that yet, and they're going to go to the prison. Okay, but so it let's say they for the backup. Let's say they get out of the prison and they run to Yuri's warehouse, then that for cover. Play. And guess what? Flamethrower. Just saying. Oh my god. Oh, holy heck, you did it. Uh, Hold your applause. I don't uh, see an address. Cornelius. This kid. Hold your butts, I'll just trace the IP. It's a unique numerical label given to all information technology connected to the internet. What's the internet? Don't worry about it. It's just gonna change the world. Pretty <laughs> solid foreshadowing there. Tabitha! Tabitha! Incredible! And cut! And cut. Incredible! Your terror! <laughs> it looks <laughs> genuine. Can you print this? No, my skills end at IP geolocation. <laughs> Remember that sound of that printer? They still use these things with and the, the perforated. Ripples. They still use them at airports. Why do they still use these printers at airports? Trying to Somebody save money. Somebody almost drop a comment below why they still use the perforated printers at airports. Dustin's right. You're a certified genius. I think we just spooked a skunk. Wait, where's Argyle? Oh, spooked a skunk. <laughs> Oh, with Eden. Wow. I did not uh, see that coming. Another station wagon hidden up by Skull Rock. Isn't that a make house plan? And it's also a stone's throw from Lewis Lake. Yeah, at this point, to be honest with you, these kids are going to be much better off if the police do find them. Think about that. Well, yeah, before all the townspeople do. Although you'd hope to think if the townspeople find them, they'd bring them to oh, the but cops. But they don't know that the town is trying to find them yet. No. So if they see someone. Yeah, but they're with Eddie, so they're going to try to, like, lay low. That's true. Lover's Lake. There's a gate in Lover's Lake. The fish underneath. The fish underneath the water. That's Oh, that's why they showed that earlier. That's the why they showed the fish. The fish. Hey, hey, hey. This thing holds three people. <laughs> I was going to say. You said three. I get a bad feeling about those four. I wonder if the um, the the kids being punished, the older one. Oh, for not winning? No, no, not the one. The one that helped L. If he's being punished, remember? He sure is. Or no, is that the kid that she beat? No, 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 no. That. That blonde hair? That's See? him. You shouldn't be wandering the halls. It's against the rules. And not safe. Come on. I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you. I was holding back. Sure. <laughs> oh. Do you like that? The red light's off. See you late. You gotta be shit. Oh, me. she comes huh. back to this place just to get bullied even worse. Oh, oh God. Geez. This is hard to watch. Tell Papa we did this. We will kill you. Feeling a little dizzy there? Poor baby. She's just not that confrontational when it comes to other like kids. What have you done? What have you done? Deep breath. Take a deep breath. Wait, all of this was a dream sequence? Killed them tonight, Papa. I killed them all. Okay. She, she got bullied by the other kids and went on a rampage and took out the whole school. That can't be it. Oh, that's what happened. She was getting bullied at the, the lab. Wow. Dustin, your, your compass has gone from wonky to wonky with a capital. Ah. 
What kind? What kind of line was that? <laughs> Somebody's got to go down there and check this thing out. Unless one of you three can top being a Hawkins High swim co captain. Dude, it's dark. You ain't Steve. gonna be able to see anything. Okay, I know you're concerned for him. I'm just being practical here. It's dark. You're not going to see anything underwater unless it's lit up. Good luck. Idea. Wrap a flashlight in plastic bag, and that's going to be watertight. You know what? Let's go with it. Oh, shit. They followed Oh, them. no. Shit, oh, no. Definitely a red light. There it is. This is not what? good. Don't touch it. Oh, come on. Oh, there goes the flashlight. And a oh. tentacle. You found it? Can't let him find Eddie. They're going to run. Distract him. Officers! Over here, I found the killer! And okay, Steve just got pulled into the upside down. What just happened? Holy shit. What does Nancy do? Stay up there. Just wait here. No, Nancy! Okay, so now Nancy and Steve are going to be in the upside down. What is this? Hey there. She said, wait. Yeah, I heard her. She did the old diver backwards overboard. Eddie's going in. Oh, oh, they're all going in. Now you got half the crew is in the upside down. How in the hell are they going to communicate that to everyone? I mean, Dustin just got caught. They don't know they went after him. How are they going to get out? Uh, th this place is more okay. Now we're in an alternate world. And he... He, he does have quite the chest rug, I will say. Okay, we have upside down bats. That did not, that sounds like a freaking pterodactyl more than a bat. Pteranodon. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Hell is that thing? I don't know, oh! man. They got all kinds of weird animals and monsters oh, down there. What is going on? It's getting attacked. Dude, you gotta get up and fight. Come on! Don't you dare in there. Oh, that is not where this ends. Oh, son you of son bitch. of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, no. This is the next episode. Oh, stop. <laughs> we gotta stop. <laughs> we can't stop. Can't spoil ourselves. Stop. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Ah! Uh. <laughs> what the? F you take your headphones off and and relax for a minute. Fired up! Wow! Uh, yeah, every episode's been a cliffhanger, so I guess we really shouldn't be shocked. Yeah, we right, should be that they left us with a cliffhanger leading into the final chapter of the first part of season four. However, <laughs> that was a big one. Um, yeah. So uh, we're in the middle of a lake. Uh, they found the portal, yep. uh, entryway, whatever, whatever you want to call it, Water to gate. the upside down. Not only is Steve there, but everybody else uh, that was on the boat is making their way down there. Now, whether they can just enter it um, by pushing through, I don't know. Steve got pulled in. He got <laughs> also, when he got pulled in, he got dragged probably a good three, 400 yards. Um, so I'm not sure what's happening with them. Um, Dustin and uh, and Steve and Max, not Steve. Is it, if Lucas, uh, Max, Lucas and Dustin and Max are on the on the hill, they're all getting caught, or at least Dustin's caught. This is a giant, giant mess. Um, of course, the huge cliffhanger with Hopper uh, at the Russian prison, because we know he's probably going to be trying to fight a demigorgon. You've got. Um, Murray and, uh, and well, Yuri. Yeah, and their wild ass plan of, hey, we're, well, they're going to have Yuri be Murray here, right? I don't know how well that plan is going to work out. But I'm well, you really interested just, in look, seeing you how that's going to You don't get to go into out. a prison. Look, even even if they were, they wouldn't get to go in. You're bringing a hostage, like, hey, 
Do we get a tour now because you brought a hostage in? Well, remember, because of the warden made that deal. Yeah. Well, so they're going to try to ask them. the warden. Oh, but boy. as long as uh, Yuri keeps his mouth shut, I have to assume something might happen. They'll, the, get, they'll get further the into writers, the process. But like, look, I have my doubts about everything. But the writers have been absolutely masterful in They've the first six chapters. Really good. So this trust season. me when I don't. I'm not saying like, oh, this is garbage. What's going to happen now? Ah. They've been awesome. I know it's going to be awesome. I'm just trying to play out every play scenario in my head right now. Um, I did like that we um, we got to see uh, Dusty's girlfriend do her thing. Oh, it was good to see her in action. Um, the, 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 the reasoning behind them telling her why they needed her to do yeah. what they did <laughs> for a gaming bit. console. I don't understand that. I mean... You know, she knows that she helped Dusty with something other massive. Stuff. So, you know, maybe they just didn't want to overwhelm her or shock her or the time crunch was such a consideration that had she started asking too many questions, it would have put a lag on what they needed her to get done. Um, all possibilities, but just so much going on. 11, we found out all the flashbacks we saw earlier on heavy were movie. likely her taking everybody out as a result of some sort of um, bullying situation, which um, ironically enough, um, she just can't seem to escape uh, when she thought she was going to live a normal life in high school. All that sort of stuff uh, seemed to follow her there. So. But let's hold on before we let's not gloss over the blonde haired dude. Like, what role does he have that Brenner's over there shock therapying him with prods? And beating him up they you know like for, what what bigger role does he have here obviously we're gonna hopefully find yeah, out so seven, for me but. there was way too much emphasis on asking who number one was and you have no idea that too so i think it's clearly he's number one um and i don't know if he's I still, i'm 50 50 on that. he's i think he's number one got in some trouble he's not allowed to use his powers anymore but he's not allowed to leave so he's not Could allowed be. to leave. They're saying he doesn't exist anymore. Oh, the rumors are there was number one. He's number one. They, they, they just put too much emphasis on the discussion of there being a number one. Um, and then him being there for that. And then he, that him, conversation. him being there for that. Him, I can see that now. <laughs> he, well, how would he know, okay, what she had to do to become the most powerful version of herself? Because he's received that training. He's number one. Look, this is this is this is clear as day. He's number one, uh, as far as why he's still there helping the other kids. Who knows? I mean, but, you've already seen this, so no spoilers uh, if you're going to comment on that stuff. A lot going on. You know what? You know what I think is interesting, and I really like that the writers did this, and I think it's genius because when you look back now, it seems it seems comical. It almost seems like old school, like witch trial stuff. But in for so so I'm I'm 42. Um, so I was in about first grade when all this stuff was happening, um, as, f as far as the timeline goes, in 86. The concern about devil worship in satanic cults, like in the 80s, that was real. It was I a mean, very, you know that, it was but... a very real thing. So now, if you if if you were to say like a rock band was like part of a satanic cult, or kids were playing video games and like harnessing the power of the devil. If you were to say that stuff in 2022, it just seems wildly, wildly outrageous. But I'm telling you, people like believed this stuff like in the 80s. Like I, I, I bring it up jokingly because it's so stupid, but like Kiss, there was a movie, what was the movie called? Uh, I forgot where they were trying to get tickets to a Kiss concert, and the mom was like, "Kiss stands for." Oh, it's Detroit Rock City. Yeah, Detroit Rock City. Yeah. Kiss stands for Knights in Service of <laughs> Satan. No, it didn't. No, you know they thought Motley Crue shouted at the devil with the pentagram for whatever. So, I mean, if you, when you look back, like like Vince Neil and Nikki Six and, and Tommy Lee and Mick Mars were worshiping the devil. They were a bunch of young kids who just wanted to like party and bang chicks and like play their rock and roll music pretty much but so it's so like interesting to watch this and hear these hear these just crazy crazy nonsensical discussions and think like in the 80s there were adults like oh there's there's devil worship going on and it's like all right the, the one thing that i will say about this episode it was a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more enjoyable obviously um, seeing Chase holding his friend in his arms 
was a heavy scene. Oh, um, you know, the, the bullying at the lab, um, it's a little bit harder to relate to. So when you see, um, when you see bullying like in a school setting or like in a roller rink setting and it's something that you can relate to, I think it hits home a lot harder. Um, not to say bullying anywhere isn't, uh, isn't bad, but like inside the lab, you feel bad for her, but it's not like that, oh my God, I've seen this. You know what I'm saying? If, if that makes mm -hmm. sense to you guys, like seeing her get bullied at the roller rink uh, was harder for me to watch than seeing her get bullied at the lab. And I guess it, it, it shouldn't be, you know, you're, you're seeing I actually somebody took it harder. Go, I took it harder at the lab yeah. because I mean, now you got those powers and all four of them were trying to work together to show dominance over her. It felt like for me, but, like she was going back to the roller rink scene. Then again, um, one of the things that, um, that I think we all know about bullying is like when, when, when people go out of their way to make you feel like less of a person or bad about yourself, um, that's, that's very harmful behavior, but it's, it's really amplified when it's in front of other people, when it's in front of your friends, when other people can now join in and laugh and stuff. So when you see something happen, like in a lab or, um, you know, a situation that may be similar. I don't think it's as bad like when it happens in a roller rink, you know? If you're walking down a, you know, we'll go back to the 80s thing. If you're walking down a hall at school and it's your bully and you, and they hit your books and your books fall, well, it sucks, you pick up your books and hey, you know, that wasn't cool and you keep moving. There's a hall full of kids yeah. and you get hit and it's laughing. So um, that's, I think that's for me why this wasn't as impactful. I. I felt like she was scared um, and she, she didn't, she didn't want to be in that situation, but the embarrassment and just that, that raw emotion that we saw with her at the roller rink, um, just wasn't quite there for me. So, um, but again, just, man, I, you feel so bad for her character. She just continues <laughs> this season's been to go her. through so much, you know, the season started and it's like, oh, Hey, look, she's in school. She's trying to make friends. Uh, she's got some bullies and it's just like, everything is just piling up on her and it just doesn't seem to, uh, show any signs of letting off. And, no. uh, I don't know. This episode is heavy. I'm really excited for, uh, chapter seven, but also, I'm a little like, because I know we're going to get hit with another cliffhanger. I know. I'm looking forward to that. So, folks, uh, drop your thoughts down below without the spoilers. Of course, we're going to get to chapter seven here in the next few days. And then hopefully in the next few days, we'll have that out as the edit. It is almost two hours, as you all know. So the editing on that is going to be kind of a pain, but we'll try to get it out as soon as possible. So You'll get out as soon as I'll try my hardest to get it out as fast as possible, folks. We'll, we'll make something work. But uh, that is the Appleton Oak. I am Diamond Dave. This was Stranger Things. Gosh. One see more you. to go with another cliffhanger, I'm sure. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>